I'm getting really bad at introductions now. Good evening Erin, it's Friday and today I am doing your accent challenge that you asked me to do so I'm going to do the entire video today in a British accent mostly because it's the only accent I know how to do particularly well but I'm going to do the best I can so don't make fun of me. So today I'm going to take advantage of the accent challenge and I'm going to use this accent and tell you all the different kinds of British slang words that I've used so far. We're just going to have a laugh. So let's go. Are you having a laugh? That means, are you kidding? Asked, which basically means bothered. I can't be asked to do my laundry this week. Balmy, which basically means crazy or insane. Bollocks means nonsense. Buggered, worn out, broken or ruined. Cheeky, playfully impertinent. Chuffed means pleased or delighted. Collywobbles means nervous, gives you an uneasy feeling. Dodgy means suspicious, Ask over tip, you took a big fall and you made a mess of yourself. Gammy means injured. Gutted means absolutely devastated. Have a laugh, to joke around. Knackered means exhausted. Manky means disgusting. Miffed means angered or irritated. Murder or to devour. Pants. This means underwear. A prat is an idiot. Rubbish means garbage or terrible or crap. Shag. And I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you the definition of shag. At least I hope I don't. Slag. Now, you might hear this a lot in Arctic Monkey songs or Jake Bug songs, but it basically means a promiscuous person, so someone who sleeps around. Basically another word for slut. Smashing means brilliant or wonderful. Snog, similar to shag, means to fool around. Ta, that means thank you. To take the piss means to make a joke or make fun of someone. Tosh means nonsense. Tosser means a complete idiot. Wonky means unstable or dodgy. Anyways Erin, that's a brief run through of all the different slang words I've used so far. Um, hopefully I did the British accent justice. If not, you can let me know and then I'll fix it. Don't get me wrong, I still live in Scotland. I just chose the British accent because I feel like it's a little bit easier and I haven't really been able to practice my Scottish accent, so I can't do it justice just yet. Erin, I'll see you on Saturday. Peace out. I could totally murder a box of Jaffa Cakes right now.